This morning I am off to go and get my feet checked by the fourth doctor. The last doctor we went to, he recommended I go to a different doctor because he does this special procedure called cribulation. Hey look, it's like my favorite person in the world. It's my wife. I thought you smiling at me. Why are you making me laugh? <laughs> Get you every time. All right, I'm gonna go get my feet checked one last time. Say bye. I had a really nice time. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Woo. Oh no, 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 no. That was. That was. I, I misread that. That was overzealous. That was presumptuous. <laughs> Good luck, you filthy <laughs> animal. <laughs> oh, still no kiss, mm. even after you slapped me. Mm. Hey, your uh, lashes look like they're fresh. Just got Lincoln down for a nap and Boston just came in the house and he was wanting to know if he could have a piece of gum. And who did you say you were playing with outside? Grayson. But isn't Grayson at school? Mm-hmm. So who are you actually playing with? The lady across uh, down the sidewalk. So the old lady down the street with a bunch of cats? Mm -hmm. Did you lie and say Grayson because you thought I wouldn't let you play with the old lady? Mm. Well, I just happen to know the lady down the street and I really like her. And is she letting you play with Bitsy, her cat? That's so fun. So why did you come home? Because I wanted to go. <laughs> okay. You may have a piece of gum. You may go play with the kitties. Blackie is scared. <gasps> Is that the other kitty? Yeah, Blackie. She's all black. I thought she was mean, but now she is she's shy. I just got replaced for quiet time with the cat lady. I am really happy that I have gone through all of this chasing our tail a little bit with this to finally get to the doctor we're meeting with. He is very smart about what he's doing. He's been doing it for over 20 years now and we don't run the risks that we run with a really hardcore surgery that they normally like to do. So, good deal. What's the matter? You guys, he wants to watch Dude Perfect, so he's a little upset about that. Which is the best. But we've gotta wipe all the Doritos off your face. Cause you're a mess. Yeah, you're a mess. <laughs> and I asked Olivia to do it, and she didn't do it. Yeah, she, oh, oh, ah, ah! <laughs> yeah. You're so sneaky. Yeah. Here, I'll clean. Do you wanna go downstairs? Emma? <laughs> They're watching. Too perfect. Most of you guys already know this. Growing up, Joel's grandma made them sugar cookies every Valentine's Day. And since we no longer have Grandma Kerrigan to send us those, we do have Grandma and Grandpa Holine send us a package every Valentine's Day. Do you want to see what's in the package? Do you want to see? Do the eyes. Can we open this one up? Okay, now don't be animals. I'm going to open the box. And don't be animals and rip everything out. We'll open it very calmly and <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, now look, let's see what's in here. Cody, here, now I'll hold it so you can see what's in here. Stop it. Oh, be nice. Oh, Boston, be nice. Yay! <laughs> I think that's for you, Lincoln. I don't know. Oh, what those this are is so for. cute. Um, who's this for? Everyone. <laughs> And do you know who made this for you? Grandma and Grandpa Holine. Is there one of those? That's for Lincoln. Yep, I'm assuming that's for Lincoln. <gasps> Cody, this is me, this is Boston. Cody, Boston, and Olivia each it? have a tin. What is it? Cool, mine's a fairy. Mine is this. Mine is Paw Patrol. I actually saw these puzzles in a tin the other day and I wanted to buy them and I just did it. That's kind of perfect. They're puzzles. Yeah, I cool. can see that. You three have a tin. And look, Lincoln, you have this. It's a little airplane. Can we open yeah. this up? Cool. I love these. They're so fun. I want to eat one. And you each have a little treat. And I think there's one for me and Dad. How cute. Do you guys know that Grandma and Grandpa watch our videos every day? What do you guys want to tell them? Thank you so much. Like. You guys are the best. <laughs> I've been looking at my phone about Fernand. These are Paw Patrol trees. 
because they have foots on them. We'll have to read this before we go to bed tonight. These treats might be tasty, but my goodness. <laughs> Look at those pretzels. Do you see that puzzle? I came down to talk to Olivia. She was talking to me the other day and she said that someone asked her to be their Valentine. And what did you tell them? I didn't know what to say. Why? So, I don't know, because I don't know what a Valentine is. <laughs> So Olivia didn't know what a valentine was and I wasn't exactly sure how to answer her So a valentine to me is just like kind of like they're asking you to be their girlfriend kind of just for the day But not forever, right? So what are you gonna tell him? I told Olivia that I think she should say if you want do you want to be his valentine? Mm -hmm. No Sort of Sort of? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I told her that I think she should tell him that she'll be his valentine only for the day and not for like his right. girlfriend. Yeah, you don't want to be his girlfriend, but that you'll be his valentine for the day. Does that sound good with you? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Olivia, we'll go shopping for valentines for your class maybe tomorrow. Okay. Shopping. You want to go shopping? <laughs> Were you eavesdropping? You have really good ears, I'm deciding. I made the realization that 20 minutes ago, Valentine's Day is two days away. And normally, I am a little bit more prepared than this. And I know what you're thinking, two days is still far more prepared than most people. That is true, but it is not Joel Holing prepared for any holiday or special occasion. Usually I am like a week in advance, and I pride myself on that. But right now, I am making a run to see if I can gather up these items that make my wife love me. I can't say what they are. I can't even show you. This is ridiculous. I don't know why I'm vlogging this. But you can come along on the journey. See? It's just nice. Now I have some company. Nobody's in the car with me, so now I have company. What's that you say? You want some tunes? Classic vinyl? Got it. Coming now. Do you even know why you're in trouble? Yeah. Why? So Link can give me your heart. Well, because you said, give me that heart. And you ripped it out of his hand. I don't know why you're cranky a lot of the times. I don't know why you're not nice a lot of the times. You tell me, how come you get so cranky with Lincoln? Well, do I get cranky every day? Why? Because I don't know. I just don't know. Austin, I don't know why you get cranky either. But do you know that Mama gets cranky sometimes and I don't even know why? Are you trying to be nicer? <laughs> yeah, but so, so, so hard. When you go to kindergarten, are you going to be nice to your teacher? Oh, try. Well, what happens if your teacher makes you mad? I don't know how to. You don't know what you'll do. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, what? I'm crying so you think it's funny? No. Yes? And why were you laughing? Because I always remember what's funny of Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like laughing and crying too because you're the cutest boy I've ever known in my entire life. But I don't know what to do to get him. You can't see, but he's like comforting me right now. He's like petting my arms. You have to be nice. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, you do. You know just how to be nice. The thing is though, is I think he's really trying. I think he's trying his absolute hardest. And it's just really hard. He just gets irritated so easily, don't ya? Mm-hmm. Can I show everyone the update on your little nosy? See, you can see the nostril is almost back to normal. And you can see the swelling right here is almost back to normal. Can I get a drink? Yes. Well, I didn't let him have a drink earlier because instead of saying, can I please have a drink? He said, get me a drink. And that was not gonna fly, was it? So we just need to work on the way we say things. Mm -hmm. You can say the exact same thing. Listen to how I say this. Mom, I need a drink. Or, that would be a nice way to say it. Or, the exact same words. Mom, I need a drink. See, two same things, but see how one is way better than the other? Mm -hmm. Being a four year old is kind of hard. Being a 32 year old is kind of hard. <laughs> it never changes.
I am fully aware that Bonnie is gonna preview this vlog before it even goes up, which this vlog will go up on Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, I guess. Anyway. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. That was like record time in the store. If you want to see what's in these bags, you better tune in tomorrow. Oh, good night. Good night. <laughs> so, Joel, I mean, <laughs> do you guys see his face? Why are you smiling like that? I haven't even asked you a question yet, and you're smiling like. Been enjoying the company of my sweet child. He's growing up. Oh, really? Oh. As I was saying, it was as if you were gone for two and a half hours. I mean, I'm not like... Well, I don't know if you've been to a dollar store lately, but there's a lot to browse. Or you had to drive an hour down somewhere, an hour back, and you had 30 minutes to browse. Well, yeah, the Ogden dollar store is a lot better than Logan. Come on. Everybody knows that. I'm just saying Valentine's Day is um, upon us. Upon us? <laughs> it, it, it is Valentine's Day. Too. I mean, I don't mean to be crazy, I can but... Tell you one thing I wasn't doing, I was not looking at handbags. <laughs> just... I've been looking Whoa. at handbags. But I will say this, I got a babysitter. What? For Valentine's? You bet your sweet butt. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> well, that kind of like disrupts the plans that I was making for Valentine's Day. I was gonna like, I was gonna make like a homemade dinner and like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun and all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can get on board with that. Okay, there's just one other thing. Yes, dear. You smell so nice. Mm -hmm. It's as if it's like a new cologne you're wearing that I've never smelled before. I can tell you, it didn't come home with me. <laughs> Told the lady at the store. Wait, what? What store? The dollar store. I was, I was like, oh, okay. I need whatever brute or Jovan Musk you've got. <laughs> I'm going for the rustic smell, and I would like to smell like it, and some of them were pretty intense. Literally, one was like spicy. Oh and they were like, this is the personal, like, the name of the cologne, Mr. Brute. Whatever. This is the personal cologne. It's a turkey. Happy Valentine's Day, you big old turkeys, and we'll, uh... <laughs> Everywhere I look around